Cameras filmed the panda giving birth for the first time, and when the animal got up, the keepers were shocked. Pandas are one of the most loved species of bears worldwide due to their cute, fuzzy appearance and adorable, playful, and silly nature. While millions of people love this amazing animal, their species is sadly critically endangered due to poaching and deforestation. Because of this, conservation programs are greatly encouraged in zoos all around the world to help increase this adorable population. In 2013, something amazing happened through one of these conservation programs at the Atlanta Zoo in Georgia, America. They decided to try and get one of their giant pandas pregnant. The panda in question, a female called Luan Luan, was 16 years old at the time and perfect for the project since she had already given birth to three healthy babies before. This was good news as it meant that Luan Luan had good, strong genes. While the plan was to get the female bear pregnant, the zoo had to think about how they would go about doing it. It was a tricky situation as pandas are known to have very low reproductive rates and a very short fertile window of only two days a year when female bears can actually get pregnant. The timing of conception has to be exact for the pregnancy to occur. To help with this, veterinarians monitor female pandas urine all year round to see when their estrogen levels peak. Once the peak is detected, the zookeepers have two options. One option is to try and allow the female panda and the male panda to mate naturally. However, this is very rarely chosen as natural mating must overcome a number of obstacles. There must be chemistry between the two animals, and the male panda must have the libido and the technique to accomplish the deed. Captive pandas are sometimes inexperienced and confused about how to properly court and mount the female, said Rebecca Snyder who was the curator of mammals at the Atlanta Zoo at the time. If they aren't interested or the positioning is incorrect, they only get one opportunity a year to practice, she said. This means that a lot of keepers decide to use artificial insemination to make sure that the female has the best chance of conceiving a baby. It was this method that keepers at the Atlanta Zoo decided to use on Luan Luan in 2013. The staff used DNA from Luan Luan and a 15-year-old male panda called Yang Yang, who had sired Luan Luan's three other babies. Once the procedure was complete, keepers kept a close check on Luan Luan in the hopes that she would start to show signs of being pregnant. Unfortunately, pandas are prone to having phantom or pseudo-pregnancies, meaning that their hormones and behaviors can change and look like the animal is pregnant when in fact it isn't. They have a complicated biology, explains Lane Valentine, who was the director of a giant panda program in a British zoo. You've got the pseudo-pregnancy factor, so using hormones as a biomarker for pregnancy in pandas just doesn't work. You have to use other tests, he said. So, wanting to be as thorough as they could be, vets decided to give the female panda an ultrasound to see if she was pregnant. Thankfully, she was, and vets were able to make out, if only slightly, the beginnings of a panda fetus. When the news of Luan Luan's pregnancy spread, everyone at the zoo was ecstatic. They couldn't wait to see the new cub. Once it was confirmed that the female bear was pregnant, keepers and vets made sure to keep a 24-7 watch on the animal to ensure that she was healthy and to try and prevent any potential miscarriages. Pandas can have a very short gestation period ranging from 3 to 6 months, so it was important for the zoo to know when they might be expecting a new arrival. During those 4 months, the soon-to-be mama panda began to eat less. Instead of eating roughly 42 pounds 19 kilograms, of bamboo per day, she lost her appetite, which is a very common symptom of pregnancy in pandas, according to the World Wildlife Fund Panda Central. On top of that, Rather than eating the bamboo given to her in her enclosure, Luan Luan began shredding the bamboo into little pieces to make a nest. This is another common behavior that pandas exhibit closer to their due date. In the wild, pregnant pandas build a nest, lining it with materials such as wood chips, birch or fir saplings, and branches from rhododendron or bamboo to keep out damp and cold. In captivity, 
human caretakers provide these materials to facilitate the behavior. It was at the point when Luan Luan began to make her nest that the staff realized it wouldn't be long before the baby came. A month before the female bear gave birth, keepers at the Atlanta Zoo decided to set up a panda cam. This allowed staff as well as the public to keep an eye on Luan Luan day and night so that they could witness the precious moment she'd give birth. Finally, on July 15, 2013, Luan Luan went into labor. The female panda settled down into her nest and began to give birth. A few moments later, a tiny, bald, and blind baby was born, and it was all captured on camera. The mother panda picked up her baby straight away and immediately began to lick it clean. She sat leaning her back against her enclosure wall and happily started caring for her new baby. But little did the staff know that what would happen next would make them scream. As the mother panda took care of her new young, she suddenly began hunching over and pushing again. Moments later, a second tiny baby was born. The keepers were shocked. While the ultrasound performed on the panda had confirmed she was pregnant, they never noticed that there were actually two cubs growing inside her. The two tiny pandas were born at 7.20 a.m. and 8.07 a.m. on a Saturday. While twins are not uncommon for giant pandas, they are at greater risk of illness and death than cubs born alone. This is because they have to share the nutrients in the womb and will also have to share their mother's milk. Plus, sometimes a mother panda will reject one of the babies and simply focus on raising the other one. If this happened, keepers would have to step in and try to raise the baby panda themselves. Thankfully, this didn't seem to be the case with Luan Luan as she began to care for both of her babies happily. We're thrilled and relieved that Luan Luan's twins have arrived, Haley Murphy, Vice President of Animal Division, said in a statement at the time. Our focus will now be the care and monitoring of the cubs and Luan Luan to ensure that both cubs have the best opportunity to thrive. The two baby bears were named Mei Luan and Mei Huan, and they were both initially identified as male. In December 2013, preliminary exams on the zoo's other pandas, Jilin and Pu, indicated that Po's gender had been misidentified. Wanting to be absolutely certain of the genders of all their pandas as it would help with future breeding, the zoo decided to run DNA tests on several of the bears, including the cubs who were several months old at the time. On December 13, 2013, Zoo Atlanta reported that Pe, Mei Luan, and Mei Huan were actually all female. With this news came the exciting possibility that the giant panda species would be able to recover better than environmentalists had hoped. The more females there were, the greater the chance of more pregnancies and more babies. Mei Luan and Mei Huan were kept at the Atlanta Zoo, where they continue to live today. Hopefully, they will also have their own babies in the future and help replenish the giant panda population. As for Luan Luan, she went on to have another set of twin babies in 2016, only three years after Mei Luan and Mei Huan. They were named Ji Luan and Ya Luan. Octopuses have a very high level of intelligence and amazing physical characteristics, but their lifespan is surprisingly short. Some octopuses die naturally within a few hours after birth. No one can explain why this is so that many people believe that these creatures came from outer space. The researchers stumbled across a unique octopus that behaved rather strangely. It had been stuck in the same place for four years, seemingly guarding something. What was it hiding under its body? Many years ago, researchers at the Montreal Bay Institute of Marine Biology, led by marine biologist Bruce Laveson, conducted a study of deep-sea life. During their research, they witnessed many interesting events. One day in May 2007, Bruce's team decided to use state-of-the-art audio and video technology to observe deep-sea creatures in order to collect new scientific data. So they drove to Montreal Bay, hoping to see the animals in the deep sea as soon as possible. With the diving of the underwater camera, a mysterious and beautiful underwater world unfolds before people's eyes. Bruce and the team members were surprised and delighted on the boat, 
looking forward to the appearance of the first deep sea creature. When they reached 4,600 feet, Bruce and his team made an exciting discovery. They saw a female octopus cling to the edge of rocks on the seafloor, which seemed odd behavior for a creature that could swim. While the octopus didn't do anything noteworthy at first, the researchers were eager to learn more about the creatures, possibly because of their incredible body structure a number of facts also make the octopus one of the most fascinating species. Octopuses are fascinating, why do you say that? Because of its superintelligence and perfect mastery of camouflage and the ability to deliver venom, this creature is able to use a variety of tools to solve everyday problems, such as transforming coconut shells into shelter. However, the highly intelligent and resourceful octopus has an incredibly short lifespan of five years at most. Plus, most octopuses only reproduce once in their lifetime, which means time is extremely precious for these sharp, intelligent octopuses. When researchers first spotted the octopus, it was deep in the Monterey Canyon, clinging to a rock wall, its body seemingly hiding something. The team wasn't all that obsessed with octopuses at first, but interestingly, they didn't know that octopuses had an even more surprising secret than they had imagined. The research work of marine life is more complicated than people think, and researchers need long-term and regular observations to draw a factual argument, which also means that researchers need to conduct underwater surveys many times. When the researchers found the female octopus for the second time, two months later, there seemed to be something special between them and the octopus, so that the underwater camera captured the octopus again in the dark and mysterious deep sea. However, two months later, the octopus does not seem to have changed. It is still alive, but it is still attached to the rocks on the seabed, and even its position has not changed. This puzzles the researchers. They do not understand why the octopus keeps staying in the same place, is there something special about that place? But after observing the environment around the octopus, the researchers did not find anything special about that area, or that rock, which means that there must be other reasons why the octopus can stay there for so long. The mystery surrounding the octopus has aroused the intense attention of the research institute. The researchers are very interested in the behavior of this octopus. They have consulted a large number of books and materials, but in the end they did not find the reason that can explain the behavior of the octopus. So Bruce and his team decided to study octopuses. Bruce and his colleagues focused all their attention on this female octopus. They believe that there must be a huge secret in the octopus. Since then, the research team has continued to visit the same site on a regular basis, conducting a total of 18 explorations over four and a half years. Over time, the mystery of the octopus was slowly solved. When the researchers took a closer look at the octopus, they found scars of varying sizes. This beautiful sea creature lives with other creatures in the mysterious deep sea. Whatever it is protecting, it must be careful, and this octopus is not just protecting one object, it is actually protecting 160 small objects, these are the eggs of the octopus. The eight tentacles of the octopus tightly surround them. At the same time, the researchers found that in addition to not looking for food, the octopus never paid attention to small crabs and shrimps passing by. Obviously, it has its own business to do. Slowly, the translucent eggs under the octopus tentacles grow visibly. This octopus is a female, so she's a natural mother, but did she really care for the eggs for four and a half years? With its skin pale and flabby, the octopus still refuses to eat any food, allowing its prey to pass freely. Most octopus eggs only hatch for two to ten months, but this mother octopus hatched for four years, which is mind-boggling. A researcher said, this is the longest hatching period of an animal I have ever recorded. What's more, the octopus has shown a strong ability to survive throughout the process of caring for the eggs. It was a shock to most of us to not leave our unborn child in the end. Bruce said the female octopus showed extraordinary perseverance, and she survived for more than four years. 
It does not take in any food, and consumes its own energy reserves bit by bit, which is undoubtedly fatal for a little octopus. So, what is the final fate of this selfless mother? On September 20, 2011, that was the last time the researchers saw the octopus. A month later, they returned to the same spot, only to find the octopus missing, and at the same time they found empty shells of octopus eggs. The researchers knew right away that the baby octopuses had successfully hatched, and they were sure they were doing well because they lived in such cold waters. Unborn octopuses need time to develop before hatching, so this female octopus offspring should be perfectly prepared to survive alone in the ocean and know how to catch small prey. However, with the successful hatching of the child, the life of the mother octopus has come to an end. Octopuses have a very special way of reproducing, and they only have one chance to reproduce in their lifetime. Octopuses belong to the group of mollusks. After mating and laying eggs, both male and female octopuses lose their appetite and die about a week later. While this approach sounds harsh, it allows the species to maximize its reproductive potential and thus continue to survive. Still, it was a sad end for the mother octopus. In fact, the longer the octopus eggs took to hatch, the longer the mother octopus lived, a testament to the dedication of the female octopus to her offspring. Through careful searching, the researchers also found the remains of the octopus mother under the rock. This great mother has completed her final mission. Even though she endured four years of starvation, she is unwilling to leave her child for half a step, this may be the power of maternal love. Humans understand maternal love, and these seemingly small animals also understand maternal love. And maternal love often appears greater in these small bodies.